Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Evil Imp, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I make movies at Harvey's Island. I'm gonna be recreating scenes from my movie trailers to show you how I utilize the camera, the lights, and my villagers. I'm hoping this video will give you some useful tips and tricks to help you maybe make your own movie in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Alright, let's get started. We first have to uh, thank Harvey for letting us use his house. Thanks, dog. And let's go inside his creepy shack. Alright, so we're in the first room here at Harvey's house. Uh, I typically don't use this room for filming because there's a door on all sides of the room, which usually interferes with the wallpaper that I want to use. So, so what I've done instead is that uh, I've turned this room into the most important part of any film production, and that is craft services. It's where the cast and crew of Evil Imp Productions hang out in between scenes and get free food. And today at Crafty, it looks like they have a uh, soup, okay, and uh, oh, and they have cake. Not a bad deal, and it looks like Sherp has already gotten to the fruit basket. And of course, on the walls, we have photos of our amazing cast hanging there. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna watch um, some clips from some of my trailers and then we are going to recreate them in the back room over here. So this clip is from the first trailer, the horror trailer, and it stars Pietro and he is standing at the edge of this bed looking so innocent and then there is something strange happening with his face. We're here on our first set and we've already got some things laid out in the room. Uh, and our talent Pietro is ready to go whenever we are. We're just gonna do a little bit of set design before we get shooting. So the story in the scene is our main character has just moved to the island of paradise. She's just started to unpack her things into her new home. So we've got some boxes that have yet to be opened, some books lying around. And uh, oh, that hammerhead shark is not gonna be in the shot. It's gonna be our main lighting source. Uh, any fish tank will be fine as long as it has a light. Um, we're just gonna move that right there. And the great thing about Harvey's Island is that you can duplicate an item as many times as you'd like, as long as it'll fit in the room. And as long as you have it cataloged, it'll show up in your storage here at Harvey's Island. I'm gonna customize this bed. Uh, let's make it, I think it's a, a light, a blue color, right? Yeah. And we're gonna make it cherry wood. All right, and I'm gonna move my character right over there and our talent is gonna sit right at the edge of the bed like in the movie. He's looking so good. You're doing a good job, Pietro. And we're gonna set his reaction to intense. And move this back just a little bit. All right, and I'm gonna close these blinds so nobody can see what we're doing in here. No, I'm just kidding. Um, that's so no outside light can get in because I want the room pretty dark. I'm gonna turn this on so that hammerhead shark is our main light source. It's not gonna be in the shot. And I'm just gonna turn off the lights. Unfortunately, our main actress couldn't make it today, so I'm going to be replacing her. So we're going to open up our camera, and what we want to do is get rid of the display that normally comes up when you open the camera. And to do that, uh, you're going to open the camera by pressing A and pressing the plus sign and then A again all at the same time. The timing is crucial, but once you get it right, you can get rid of the display and have a nice clean shot. And then we're just going to change the frame to cinema mode. And we have Pietro's reaction set to intense. And what we want him to do is to freak out kind of like he did in the movie trailer. So when you press A once, he'll do the full reaction. But if you press A repeatedly, he's going to do this. And that, my friends, is an Oscar-worthy performance. <laughs> All right, so the next thing that we're gonna recreate here is from the New Leaf Thriller trailer. This one follows the story of a boy and his friend Lucky as they travel through time. 
Okay, so I have one Yellow Caution Oil Barrel set up and one Nova Light. And I'm just going to bring out Lucky from our residence roster. And you'll notice that I have several human villagers on my list, and that is because I have multiple accounts set up on my Switch. And that way I have a few background actors at my disposal. Alright, so we're just going to give Lucky a hat, because <laughs> why not? I mean, freaking adorable right there. So now we just want to block this scene. We're going to put him right there. Uh, actually, I want him in the center, and I'll stand right behind him, because, you know, Lucky and I, we have each other's backs, yo. And I'm just going to move us both right to the center. And now we're just going to give Lucky his reaction. Because this is a drama, we are using the intense reaction. And now I'm just going to design the set and place more of these oil barrels around us. There's that one right there. Right there. And I'm just going to place the Nova Light right by Lucky. And with the lights turned off, that actually looks... I'm, that looks pretty good so far. I'm just going to change the color to green. And let's add one more light by me. These Nova lights are actually one of my favorite lights to use because they just really create a soft light while also making the scene look dramatic. And you can also change the color to like, I think seven different colors. So just play with it until you get the look that you want. And I think I'm just gonna add some more barrels. Right, one right there. And there's like one in the background right there. Alright, so we're gonna shoot our scene. I think that looks pretty good. Just gonna change the frame to cinema mode. And press A for our reactions. So they've come across these oil barrels. And the boy says, What are these? And Lucky says, it's poison! Yeah, boy. He is looking good in that light. Like, come on. Lucky is like A-list movie star. Like, look at that face. Beautiful. So this next trailer is from my most recent one called Wild World. This wallpaper, the new wallpaper from the wedding event, are my favorite wallpaper to use for letting in quote-unquote natural light in the game. Because if you go, let's say, I think this is like at 5 a.m. in the morning, you can see the light coming in from the window and reflecting on the ground. Okay, so this is that wallpaper at 5.48 a.m. So you can see that light just gliding across the ground. And here it is at 6.42 p.m. It's a little bit more orange there. This is the last shot that we're going to recreate for this video tutorial. Um, this is the last shot from the Wild World trailer and it's after, you know, all this war has been happening and our main character has finally been reunited with the love of her life. Okay, welcome to this apocalyptic set. I've used the chain link fence as the wallpaper and uh, train tracks as the flooring. And I've got a campfire, tin can, a stone, some socks, a boot, a red leaf pile, and this imperial paper lantern as our lighting. And that peace sign is a custom design. So let's, let's start designing our set. See, we had two red leaf piles in that scene. And we're just going to make this set look a little bit more chaotic. Yeah, you can just go right there. Alright, and put that can there. What I love about this flooring is that it has all these lines and, you know, uh, what makes a really good film shot, I think, is, you know, leading lines. Lines leading up to your subject and I just love this flooring for that. I mean, you can't have actual trains in this game as of yet, but I mean, I couldn't think of any other use for this flooring. 
So I'm just gonna put that. We're gonna have to light the campfire by hand. I, I wish you could do it just by clicking on it with the rearrangement, but here we go. That one and that one and that one. If I can get it, there we go. All right, I'm gonna turn the light off. That looks pretty dramatic already. And we're just gonna move this light up here. You're not gonna see it in the shot, but it's gonna create a nice soft light from above. And we're just gonna move that down there. All right, I think that looks, uh, huh. Uh, let's just uh, move it up a little bit more. And let's move that one there and there. All right. Yeah. Okay, so that creates a nice spotlight. And let's bring out... Well, since our main actresses couldn't be here, we're just going to use Sherb. He was available, and I will be replacing the main actress again. And let's give ourselves reactions to sheepishness. I want them to look like that their their heads are touching, you know. They have a, a, a real bond. You know, I don't think that one works right there. Let's do sadness. Oh, okay. <laughs> that actually looks pretty cute. Eh? He just looks like Sherb is very upset and putting his head on my shoulder. What a great actor. Like, come on. All right, let's, let's shoot this scene. So, okay. So if I shoot it right here, if I open up my camera right there, I can't get the wide shot that I want. So I'm going to come up here and turn on the camera. And then I'm going to move all the way back there so I can get all the things in the foreground as well as my subjects in the back so we've got this nice wide shot with all the debris leading up to our main actors that is a wrap on this video tutorial i hope this video helps give you ideas for your own movies and if you do end up making an animal crossing movie please 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 leave the link in the comments because you know, I would love to see what you all create. And some of you have been asking me if I'm making an actual movie or just trailers. The answer is yes. I am making more movie trailers and eventually I will post a full Animal Crossing movie or movies. So please like and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. And now I better get to this cake before freaking sure beats all of it because he <laughs> never leaves anything for the rest of us.